Hi all, today we are going to discuss how to insert the record to the SQL Server database in web application means in ASP.NET so uh, we had discussed in a previous video how to create a database in SQL Server uh, so we have one database as connection underscore db in that one table we are having it's a student and in that there are three fields student id student number stu sorry student name and its mobile number so first uh, we should uh, do the designing like we need some level and text box also we need a submit button okay so now we can copy this code okay so now you can change the properties directly to the designing code it is a designing source code and it is what the design view right so do the necessary changes here and then we will write the insert code going to change the property of a label it is for student id it is for student name and third one is for mobile and a submit button you can just see the designing directly from a design view you can change the view of the controls like this way so it should be in a proper way or you can use a table tag for the proper designing okay it's done here now generate it's a click event button click okay we need to do the connection first with the database that we have discussed in a previous video so using system dot data dot sql client a namespace used for the database sql connection create its object equals to new connection now put the connection string here from the properties of the database connection string copy this connection string and paste here ok now open the connection now we are starting the insert to the SQL database so we need to take a variable of a string type so I am going to take a string type variable and variable name is Q and write down insert statement insert into table name it's a student so we are open this server explorer insert into students write down the names of the field first one is a student underscore id then student name and then it's mobile number as per the fields ok now the values keyword and that value we will get from the text box so that we have 
put it here text box 1 text box 2 and text box 3 much better uh, that you change the name of the text box from the property window so don't be confused uh, property window change the name of the text box it's a txt first one is for id second one is for txt name and third one is for mobile okay now again move to your application code now first one student id and we know that it has a numeric data type you can see the designing surface so student id is a numeric type and student name where care and again mobile number is a numeric type so here when you are when you have a numeric type then plus double plus is used for the concatenation is a txt id dot text second one is for the name and it has a worker type so you will put the single double plus plus double single and txt name dot text and third one again numeric type so txt mobile dot text will be used okay so here the query is done now we are executing this query by sql command creates its object equals to new sql command provide the query with the queue variable and connection string now command will use its method called execute non query for the execution of dml queries so execute non query method will be used for the execution of insert query and last you will give a message box response dot write use a script tag for the message box give alert is record inserted okay save it and last we are close this connection so con dot close method will be used but now student registration page we want to run so right click on the page and select as a start page run your website it will take a few seconds student registration page is going to run
ओके स्टूडेंट आई डी वन स्टूडेंट नेम इज नीम पुट एनी नेम एंड मोबाइल नंबर क्लिक ऑन सबमिट रिकॉर्ड इंसर्टेड ओके नाउ मूव टू योर डेटाबेस stop the application move to database right click on the table and select the show table data so it will display the records thank you so much for watching if you liked it please subscribe